told you, and people say, some say, well, Alex, Alex, why, you know, did you tell us about this 15, 16 years ago? But, you know, it's here now, but what's the problem? Well, I saw it a long way off. I knew it was illegal when they were doing secret military gun confiscation, real operations from South Carolina to Texas. And I was interviewing Marine Corps captains and others off record. And I was going to their houses with their uniforms, you know, with the, the hanging in the closet, the whole nine yards. They were showing me all this. They were explaining how illegal it was. So I was telling you it was a covert, very small operation. It's, let's, let's not exaggerate, it's about a thousand times bigger now. And now they're going operational with it in the news, the sitcoms, the dramas. And they're running fake newscast. we're going to air, produced by Homeland Security, where gun owners are terrorists killing police. So they're... They're casting gun owners, libertarians, conservatives as the terrorist ahead of a false flag event or provocateur event to literally start a civil war. And the fact that we've been exposing this so long has been holding it back. Exposure of this can stop it. We're going to be right back with David Knight. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield Nascent Iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield Nascent Iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum 
potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Thomas Jefferson. It's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Now, remember, if you study history, but one out of four Americans doesn't even know the sun is the center of the solar system. They think the Earth is in a new study. If you know basic history, you know having militarized police, military on the streets, checkpoints, databases, that you're in a very dangerous, oppressive country. And capital controls are being set up. Domestic checkpoints are being set up. They're going down the list and, and consciously putting a very serious police state grid in place not just here, but in every major industrialized world, to convert us to the Agenda 21 system of total government and corporate control. And you've got hundreds of trucks every few months, giant armored vehicles from Iraq, being deployed and delivered to police everywhere. You've got them training. I've got their manuals here. We have articles up on Infowars.com right now with links to the Army's own website where they talk about how they're going to put us in re-education camps. They use the Soviet term. Now they're going to process our social security numbers. Remember Katrina? They went and took the guns. And it's not that the military itself is bad. It's that it's being used for this. And so there's a cultural battle. If we cry out against this and say, hey, we need to do something about this. We need to reverse this. This is a serious situation. Then we can reverse it. But if the trolls, who are paid for in most cases, go, there's big deal. There's armored vehicles. Big deal they're training in mock U.S. cities for gun confiscations. They may need it. People are on Infowars.com, minority of them, and on Fox News and others that picked up this story, going, well, hey, the Tea Party might try to take over. Thank God they're doing this. So the attitude is, see, this is the new enemy, not Al-Qaeda. Homeland Security has said publicly for three years the new enemy is domestic terrorism, and the main enemy there is libertarians, conservatives, gun owners. David Knight, uh, you did a video report for the Nightly News Friday on this. We're about to play that and then get into more detail here. But we sit here reading it all. I mean, here was from last Monday, WSAZ television, where it said, quote, Homeland Security with the military trained for gun owners attacking schools with bioweapons because they're for the Second Amendment. Mm -hmm. That's just pure scripting that we're the terrorist. That's right. I mean, this is so obvious. You know, when we were covering the military drills in all these various cities, and one of them, I believe it was in Los Angeles, they got a military spokesperson on it. He said, you know, you train for the scenario you think you're going to be operating in. He said, if you train for our mountain, if you think you're going to be in the mountains, you train in the mountains. If you think you're going to be in the ocean, you train in the ocean. And he was saying that in front of a drill where they were going to be working with the police and first responders, fire department, that sort of thing, in a very domestic situation. And so we said, well, if they're going to go into Iran, are they going to have the cooperation of the police there? Are they going to have the cooperation of the Well, I mean, here's the, the deal. We had, we had the documents back in the late 90s there is a covert program with military already being used all over the U.S. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The posse commentatus is gone. They just want to play like this isn't happening and there isn't a huge buildup. And again, gun owners, the Tea Party, people that don't want to bankrupt the country, people that don't want their kids being taught how to masturbate at age five. We are literally listed as the terrorist is the issue. And they keep playing this game like, oh, no, none of this is going on. Let's go ahead and go uh, to your report. But see, that's the PSYOP. They deny it, even though it's in all their manuals. Yes. And then we make a debate about, oh, whether it's happening or not. Why, the, instead of, why is it happening? What are they getting ready for? Here's David Nice report. The Army is very proud of the new American city they've built to practice martial law. The government really can do something quickly. They built this 300-acre city in just two years. Compare that to how long they take in your city just to build a road. But then they did have $96 million of your tax money to play with. 
to transition from an army of execution, doing what we've got to do, to an army of preparation to be ready uh, for what comes next. This is a place uh, where we can be creative and you can come up with solutions for problems that we don't even know we have yet. The public may not know the problem yet because they haven't yet executed the false flag event that they'll use to openly activate martial law, but the military has been creating scenarios where they can justify a move against small town America for quite some time. And they've made it clear that their enemy is gun owners, veterans, those who want a small limited government, and Christians. The UK Telegraph reported that the town was complete with a subway, railroad, football field, and mosque. Mosque? That's not a mosque. That's a small town Christian church. With, with a steeple and gothic windows. Mosques have minarets, rounded yeah, arches, etc. It's not that they've kept the current military's attitude toward Christians a secret. It's how either. dumb they think It was are. the U.S. Army that conflated the Ku Klux Klan with mainstream Christian groups like the American Family Association or the Family Research Council, calling these mainstream evangelical groups hate groups. In just the last year, an official Army email and briefings at both Fort Hood, Texas and Camp Shelby, Mississippi attacked Christian groups and said they don't share Army values. Most recently, we've seen a FOIA request that showed last year's training scenario in Ohio identified gun owners and people who believe in limited government as the enemy. And then there's retired Colonel Kevin Benson, currently teaching at Fort Leavenworth, who spelled it out clearly in his vision of the future. When the leaders of the group hold a press conference to announce their goals, they invoke the Declaration of Independence. Ooh. And they argue that the current form of the federal government is not deriving its just powers from the consent of the governed, but is actually destructive to these ends. Six percent approval. Therefore, they say the people can alter or abolish the existing government and replace it with another. And while mainstream politicians and citizens react with alarm, right, with alarm to the words of the Declaration of Independence, the Tea Party insurrectionists in South Carolina enjoy a groundswell of support from other Tea Party groups, militias, racist organizations like the Ku Klux Klan. And as we've shown you many times in the past, U.S. military documents describing CONUS operations, that's the continental United States, where rules regarding the use of deadly force in confronting dissidents are made disturbingly clear with the directive that a warning shot will not be fired. Or this document that talks about policies that would be applied within U.S. territory with the internment, resettlement, indoctrination, and re-education of political dissidents using their social security number. Clearly, it's not for foreign operations. And finally, I think it's significant how detailed these buildings are. They could easily train for foreign urban warfare using concrete shells of buildings which are cheaper and that's what they've done in the past. But here they have a completely intact American town, down to the Washington DC subway logos and a small church building. Looks like they're training for a different kind of conflict. President Andy James Gabbard. Madison wrote, the means of defense against foreign danger have always been the instruments of tyranny at home. But as Alex Jones pointed out in his documentary, 9-11, The Road to Tyranny, way back in 2001, FEMA was telling firefighters and other emergency personnel in Kansas that the founding fathers were terrorists. That's very difficult. When people are passionate about what they believe in, they become a very difficult enemy to be. Who was the first terrorist organization in the United States? <coughs> Who? Founding fathers. Yeah, yeah. Founding fathers. You mean Thomas Jefferson? Oh, yeah. You mean uh, George Washington? Oh, yeah. Paul Revere? Yeah. 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 These guys right here. Let me ask you something. Did they try to scare people? <laughs> oh, yeah. They tried to intimidate the British. Did they try to, did they use acts of violence? Your founding fathers, my founding fathers, were involved in acts of terrorism. Posse comitatus? Constitution? That's just yesterday's red tape. We're going to go to break and come back and get David Knight to break this down. I'm Alex Jones. And we're going to get into a bunch of other uh, demonization videos they're producing. The military for police. Fake newscast. Stay with us.
Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion.